What's up, peers, and welcome to the World Crypto Network. How do you become a wise peer on the Bitcoin network? How do you actually gain cut a grasp of this complex monetary phenomenon? Well, it's for sure that it's not the shit that they teach you in high school, because that is only trivia. It's useless facts and figures that might be true, but they just might as well not be. Uh, high school is not made for truth discovery. It is made to dictate what you have to take in and what you have to repeat after the master has told it to you. That is not how you achieve wisdom, and Bitcoin is not high school. It clearly is not. Bitcoin, in order to understand and truly grasp Bitcoin, you need to apply the trivium methodology on how to achieve wisdom. And that is first and foremost, accumulate valuable information from a wide eclectic array of sources. And that is, of course, right, accumulating information and taking that in not just from one source, but from many, so that you have a diverse set of information, knowledge to play around with. Step two, judge with what you know to be truthful and then check if the new information is truthful as well. This part of understanding is an internal process and that is, of course, a logical, right? You need to apply human reason, the logos, and you need to uh, battle with that which is unknown and you need to find out if it is the truth or not. If it is not, discard it. It's wrong information and you should no longer bother with it. But if it is the truth, then you must not stop here. But you need to boldly process to step three, apply the truthful understanding. And that is vitally important. You need to act out, which is for certain to be truth. And that is wisdom. And that alone is wisdom. So. We need to start at the beginning. What is the knowledge of Bitcoin, the valuable knowledge of Bitcoin? Of course, take, a, take in a bunch of different resources, but don't take in junk, shit in, shit out. So you need to be careful with which information you accumulate. And there are different ways of, sor uh, of sources and in my opinion, the Bitcoin podcast space is one of the awesome places, the awesome sources of knowledge that I can very much recommend. And here, these I listen to all of them pretty much as soon as these new episodes come out. The Crypto Economy Life is a, a, a mixture of both uh, readings of good Bitcoin uh, articles and also just conversation with some bright minds in Bitcoin. I very much appreciate this because it, uh, I prefer the spoken word to reading itself. Uh, so having audiobook versions of these awesome long reads, uh, and there are many of them, uh, the crypto economy is very nice. So I appreciate that. Then, of course, also the Stefan Levera podcast, one of the great podcasts in the space focusing on Bitcoin and especially Austrian economics. And that is something that, again, I can truly appreciate because that is my forte. And Stefan knows what's up. And he is a great peer in our network and he's accumulated and understand uh, the truth here in Bitcoin. And he's sharing truthful information. So he's definitely one source of knowledge that you should listen to. Then we have the Bitcoin, uh, sorry, the Noted podcast as uh, with Pierre Richard and uh, Michael Goldstein, and they have uh, co-founded the Nakamoto Institute and done some awesome stuff in Bitcoin. And again, a podcast focused on the Austrian economics of Bitcoin and the. Well, the aspect of, yeah, of just, well, truth. I mean, they are Bitcoin maximalists, so you're not going to take in information about shitcoins other than they suck. But well, I mean, that's the truthful information. <laughs> but still, right? Don't just listen to Bitcoin maximalist podcasts. Also listen to shitcoinery podcasts. All you're going to find out soon that it is not truthful what they convey there. Uh, but still, the noted podcast, very much recommended. And uh, every episode is a gem. We also have a bottom shelf Bitcoin, also a great little podcast here uh, that talks about, well, uh, Bitcoin, especially accessible to the layman. It's for those that don't want to reach high, right? So this is a, this is a nice layman conversation. I would say it doesn't really go into like the, the really complex uh, details of the technology of Bitcoin or 
the very uh, let's let, let's say the economics of it, but more just the the accessible one. So this is where I send new people uh, to Bitcoin, right? We really want to make sure that uh, we have, uh, yeah, that we get new people in there as well. And I think something like bottom shelf Bitcoin is very approachable. I like it quite a lot. We have here the phenomenal Bitcoin Matters podcast, a show by Beautyon and ah. I forgot the co-host's name. I'm so sorry. Uh, but this is a great show here on the CryptoCast Network, uh, a fork of the World Crypto Network, so to speak. Uh, and they've done some uh, 15 episodes so far. Uh, and uh, Beauty on here, the founder of Azteca, which we've talked about uh, two days ago, he has done some, uh, he has a great understanding of Bitcoin uh, and cypherpunk philosophy and Austrian economics. So he has the full package and very much worth listening to. And I enjoy every single second of of it. We also have, of course, the Tales from the Crypt here with Marty Bent and with Matt O'Dell. And this is also a very awesome podcast. I would say somewhat similar to Bottom Shelf Bitcoin, right? They, they strive to be accessible and approachable. And I would absolutely say that they are, right? Um, Further though, they do get into the nuts and bolts of the technology and the economics and the, the technology uh, yeah, and, and the tech behind it. So uh, definitely worth a read and always a lot of fun. I mean, it's always fun watching uh, watching a couple peers getting drunk and talk about Bitcoin. Why not? Then we have another one of my favorites. That is the Block Digest uh, here with uh, Shinobi, uh, with Rick, and with Janine. And also sometimes uh, Nopara, uh, the creator of Wasabi Wallet, is here as well. And I would say that these are actually one of the top journalists that we have. They cover cutting edge topics as soon as they come out. And this is truly a, a, a huge, well well-curated source of knowledge uh, that I very much appreciate and listen to many times live and also uh, in the recording as soon uh, as I can catch up. Uh, and very much worth listening to because uh, they clearly get that right here. It's Conbase, right? <laughs> and they cover all the important stuff happening and they are always up to date, very much recommended uh, and well, always also a lot of fun. Uh, two hour shows, uh, I think, are a nice sweet spot. Uh, they pack in a bunch of information, but it's still accessible to everyone. We have here the Bitcoin Knowledge Podcast by Trace Mayer, one of the early Bitcoin advocates who clearly understands what he's doing, and he has a, a phenomenal grip of the uh, well of, of the Bitcoin monetary system. And he's been the Austrian economist and, and gold bug much before Bitcoin, and thus he's understood the value proposition of Bitcoin as Libra sound money very early on. So he is definitely worth listening to. And over the years, he has accumulated a big, big, big resource here. And it even goes before uh, 2009, right here, January 7th. That's uh, just a couple of days after Bitcoin. Uh, but back then, he was still talking about gold, so not Bitcoin. <laughs> What we also have here is the Crypto Voices podcast, one of the best Austrian economist podcasts in this space, period. And oh, by the way, that is now an addition um, to, to what is not on the Bitcoin only website. But Crypto Voices absolutely deserves a place to be there. Fernando Ulrich and Matthew Majinskis uh, are both, well, Fernando is a, a trained Austrian economist, and Matthew Majinskis is well, uh, somewhat like me. I think he has. Uh, uh, or no, he probably has uh, some some more uh, like universal uh, studies in Austrian economics. But Fernando Ulrich himself uh, has, stand, uh, has studied under uh, Jesus de Sueta, and definitely they do know what they're talking about. And their website is also a great great source of information uh, because right here the network charge charts, the economic charts, the value charts, the value tables here on base money is uh, my most favorite uh, website with a bunch of cool, cool numbers that you can look at and decide for yourself why Bitcoin is the money that will take over the world. The stable coin of all the stable coins. And I can highly recommend the Crypto Voices podcast. Further, the only uh, Bitcoin price talk that I listen to is Bitcoin and markets here with Ansel Lindner. Why? Because it's not really a price talk. He does outstanding fundamental analysis uh, of Bitcoin. So he talks about, uh, you know, the technology behind it, for example, but then also uh, stuff like the hash rate, right? Or, or, or difficulty adjustments and all the things that we can prove on the Bitcoin blockchain uh, and how they might affect 
the market. A great, great, great show that I can very much recommend. And also, his newsletter comes, to, I think, every Friday at two-year inbox, and it just has a chart or several charts and figures and numbers that are quite useful. If you are a Bitcoin trader, I would not want to miss his fundamental reports. He also has a Patreon exclusive show that also is sometimes uploaded to the main Bitcoin market show called Bitcoin is Freedom. And that is a great, great, great show with the Jeff, uh, with the co-host Jeff, and I forgot his last name. Very sorry, I'm bad with names. <laughs> uh, and I was on the uh, on the member only show here uh, as well, talking about Tallycoin and the censorship uh, that we have here. Maybe I can even find this here. Uh, a couple or uh, a bit back. Oh well, um, probably not. But yeah, great, great podcast, and uh, yeah, also long going podcast. Absolutely. We also have Bitcoin, what Bitcoin did, uh, which is uh, quite a nice little uh, podcast because it's only like a year and a half old, well, quote unquote only. And listening back to all the the resources or all the all the episodes here, um, is that is that. He started out as, as being somewhat as a multi-coiner and you truly see his progression of understanding that Bitcoin is it. And it truly is is, is fun to watch. Uh, so here, uh, the great, great shows with, with outstanding guests, really. And I've learned quite a lot here uh, and I can very much recommend. And then, of course, last but definitely not least, the one and only World Crypto Network, strong since 2014, one of, if not the oldest podcasts, ongoing podcasts. Uh, and the really cool thing is that there are over 2,000 videos. Many of them are hours long, a couple of them eight hours long. And if you want to do some archival history study uh, of Bitcoin, well, <laughs> the World Crypto Network is the place to be. Why? Well, because it it allows for experiencing the the yeah the just the the power or what happened in Bitcoin as it was happening in Bitcoin. Would you like to know what Andreas Antonopoulos said the minute as it was announced that uh, Mount Gox was collapsing? Well, there's a live video on the World Crypto Network where Andreas is telling everyone to not jump off bridges. Well, because it's just Bitcoin. It's just money. And he also tells you a bunch of time that your keys, your Bitcoins. So this is absolutely a great source of resources. And I do have to say that I personally have learned so much by watching the World Crypto Network. Uh, I truly understand the power of segregated witness and the importance of No2x and the UASF. Uh, thanks to watching the hour-long streams live as things were happening uh, and as they were co-streamed on Bloomberg. So this is a outstanding archive of knowledge and I am a, a extremely proud to be part of it and, and to do my part in accumulating valuable knowledge as things are happening in Bitcoin. And I hope uh, I do it justice. Peers, these are just some of the outstanding Bitcoin-only podcasts that you can watch too. Uh, if you know a couple more, please let me know in the chat because I'm always hungry for more knowledge. Uh, Peers, let's, um, yeah, let's accumulate valuable information, though I want to stress it. Don't just take in Bitcoin information. That would be wrong. Because if you only take in knowledge from one source, the Bitcoin source, then you shut yourself blind and you ignore a vast amount of other available information. So take in shitcoinery podcasts as well, but be critical of them and try to understand it. And when you realize that what they are telling you are lies and untruths and wrong, well, then first and foremost, judge it for yourself and act upon it. Don't buy shit coins and tell others about it and tell them why and help them to understand. And most importantly, speak up. This again is your responsibility. When you are watching this, then you know the horrors of the fiat system. And you know that Bitcoin is a tool that can alleviate an immeasurable amount of suffering. And it's in your hands to make it happen. If you stay quiet, if you stay idle on the side, you deserve the most utter of hells. Because you are a 
not just an active part, you are the main reason why the fiat slave system still exists because of cowards like you sitting quiet because they're afraid little kids little boys no speak up and speak the truth and speak it strongly and then you will actually manifest bitcoin in our lifetime if not you will manifest the hell of tyranny that you deserve because it was your fault you have no right to keep the knowledge of Bitcoin occulted. This is not your right. And if you do not speak up, again, you deserve to rot in hell. Speak up in whatever shape or form. It does not matter. If you only talk to your family, great. At least you have saved your family. That's something. If you talk, if you organize meetups and speak up there, great. You've shared the knowledge of Bitcoin in your local community. If you're writing articles or blogs, awesome. Increase the knowledge pool of high quality, truthful and valuable information. Outstanding. If you have a talent to speak, as per like I think I do, well, then speak up. Do videos, do podcasts. It's easy. You have no excuse. And if you prefer to write code, code is speech. Do that. Code is to speak up. If you provide the, the tools for others, uh, then that is awesome. And if your skill is to write code, well, then for God's sake, write code. If your skill is in building companies, then build companies. But do something. And if you do not, again, you are going to experience how miserable life can and will be. And I for sure do not want to experience such a reality. We are already suffering enough and we already have the opportunity to be so much more and the potential to be so much better, but we are not yet doing it. And we are losing every single second. Why? Because you are quiet. Because you are a coward who is not speaking up. And if you feel that I'm addressing you right now, it's your responsibility to change it. And that is both frightening because you realize that if you do not speak up, the karmic debt on your soul is going to last forever. But you also realize that one individual speaking truth can end any tyranny. And this is your most beautiful chance to manifest liberty in lifetime, in liberty and peace and economic soundness in our lifetime. And if you mess this up, I'm not proud of you. I despise you, actually. But for all those that the heroes of Bitcoin that share this information truthfully, I am so utmost proud of all of you. And I am unspeakably glad to have you on my side and to call myself your peer. Because that is what it is all about. Those that have the guts, the men who fight the tyranny of fiat slavery, deserve our utmost gratitude. And I for sure have it. And if you are one of the peers who are actively manifesting the change to make Bitcoin a reality, I thank you endlessly from the bottom of my heart. And you deserve not just by my respect, but my utmost support. So if you ever need anything and you can prove to me that you have done something to forward the cause of Bitcoin, I will help you to the utmost of my abilities. But if you are a coward that kneels in front of the tyrants and begs for permission, I despise you to the utmost. But I still see the potential that you can change this and manifest yourself as the man of truth that you have the potential to be. Peers, speak up. Speak the truth and speak it strongly. And see you on the next show. Bye-bye.